My heart is the strongest when I know others are smiling. <laughs> I journey around the world searching for the most amazing animals that people live with. My name is Jason Kinsey, and as an adventurer and photojournalist, I love to tell a tale of true animal affection. With my camera as my only protection, my rule of thirds is sharing great knowledge first, and to get up close and personal with whatever could bite me, claw me, outrun me, maul me, and or love me. Join me as I take you on a heartfelt ride to beautiful locations, meet unbelievable animal lovers. These are my chronicles. These are my animal adventures. This is gonna be so epic. I'm here at Ken's place and I'm in Lytton. And this place is amazing. He has some of the biggest motorcycles and he built with his own bare hands. This is so cool. You should see some of this stuff right here. Like, look at this. This is so cool. Take a little picture of this. Now behind me are the bikes. Look at these bikes. That's amazing. This is probably where I have to talk to them, right in here. He even has a graveyard that he built. Okay, I found Ken, and Ken has the cutest dogs. Hi, Ken. Hello. Hi. How I are have you? the cleanest one. The, the cutest dog oh. on the planet. <laughs> I don't know about that, but yeah. Ken is the one that builds all these <coughs> unique motorcycles, all these giant, some of the world's largest uh, machinery. Yeah. Art. So, where is your first dog? My first dog. Oh, that's another. Oh, we're going to look for his yeah, first dog. Look for Looking for Jack. Oh, here he is. Come on, Jack. Hi, Jack. Here's Jack. Here he Come on, is. Jack. And I got him as a pup. Yeah, let's have a seat right here. Hi, Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is my first dog, Jack. Hi, Jack. And how did you obtain Jack? I got him from just a, this person had these cute little pups, and they said, you got to look at these pups. It's female, so I call him Jack. To me, he's still a male. He's not a female either. He's a dog. <coughs> he's a good dog. Come on, Jack. How old is Jack? Jack must be about 10 now. 10 or 11, but a super dog. This, and crawled, well, as a pup, he crawled up onto my bed. I left him there. He's been sleeping at my feet ever since. 10 years he slept at my feet. So he sleeps on the bed. Who is this guy, the one that runs away from us? Oh, that's, that one's called Shammy. That's next door neighbor's dog. What am I gonna do with my dog? I said, well, I like him. You want him? I said, oh, he's beautiful. So he gave it to me. I give it attention and affection, so it come up and just stayed with me ever since. You see him walking around, his tail's tucked down below his legs. Now you can see his old tail flopping. He's happy. Can you tell me about your creations? How did he get started? Well, as a kid growing up, there was no power up here, no electricity up here, and um, the only thing that saved us was just a, just a maybe 400 feet above us is the, the garbage dump from the town. So that garbage dump was like a giant superstore. I mean, you never had to pay for anything you picked up. It was just a beautiful place to be. So we spent all our lives there and picking up stuff. So I'd bring home plywood and bits of two by fours. And dad did have a handsaw and he did have a hammer. So you could pull those nails out and you could build anything you wanted out of wood. So that's all I was, was a builder. So you had to build because we were dirt poor. You couldn't just buy whatever toy you wanted. You had to build your toys or build something to keep yourself happy. So I was always building. Finally, when power come here, electricity, then I got a welder and learned to weld. I like steel better because steel is a lot longer lasting than wood. What was the first thing you built? First thing I built was my boy, he was about I don't know, four or five years old, he wanted to carve a bowie knife out of a piece of wood. So I helped him with that bowie knife, and then I thought, well, if he's fooling around making this bowie knife, I'll build a real big one and stick it through a tree. So I built two halves of the bowie knife and bolted it to a tree, so it looks like it does go through the tree. That was my first piece of art that I was building that, you know, had no reason except it would look sharp. And so after that, I built a double barrel shotgun. That looked good, and I put a big spider web in between the shotgun and the tree it was leaning against. 
Everything I built, I've never ever sold because I sure don't want to build it again. Like somebody, hey, I'll buy it off you. You can build another one. No, no, sir. You can build the other one. I'm keeping this one. <laughs> oh, that's just too much work. So when you decided to build the motorcycles, why did he build them so big? The first one is a scale of one and a half. The next one's a scale of two to one. And the last one's a scale of three to one. Well, the one and a half, all I was going to do is build the fr front end. Oh, no, Kenny, you can build the whole bike. I said, you can't. Oh, no, you can build it. So I thought, okay, I'll prove to you I can't build it. So I started to build it. And it turned out to be a hundred times better than I ever dreamt about. It just shocked me, surprised me that it could look that good. It's all it's all just a model. It's all totally blank. Well, can you take us over to show us? Oh, yeah, okay. sure. Yeah. So this is it. Kenny is leading me to see his giant creation, this massive motorcycle that he spent half his life building. The one thing that was going through my mind is I wanted to climb up onto it, and I was hoping Kenny would let me. The real challenge here is going to be getting all three of his dogs to sit with him. One of the dogs is very skittish. This is going to be interesting. I started this, let me think. <laughs> Ah, 25 years ago, 27 years ago, I started this building. Um, then I just thought it looked good, so I just kept it up. I got no hobbies. I hate hunting, fishing, and holidays, so I got time to do what I want. is the, the big tricycle uh, because of the message what it says it says give me back my childhood the bliss the ignorance the imagination that filled my days with joy and take back my adulthood the seriousness the truth and the limitations of it all that to me is the best piece of art I ever did I want to say thank you so much for it was welcome. a pleasure to meet you and to hear your stories about your dogs and this amazing place that you have this has been so exciting and I want to say thank you so much for joining me on another pet adventure. I love you guys so much and with your support, please subscribe and hit that bell. It was so much fun hearing about his love for his three dogs and his giant motorcycles. Remember to always support your local animal rescues. My name is Jason Kenzie. Until next time.